Uh, Players Championship 25. 3. And as usual, Michael Van Gerwen is in the mix. It's outside, so it's Michael to throw first. About to take on Mervyn King for a place in today's decider. Last Saturday, MVG took the title and trousered £10,000 here in Wigan last Sunday. He hit a nine darter today. Van Gerwen could do both. He's already produced the perfect leg. And now he's two matches away from winning 94. the fourth title of 2019 to add to his role of honour, the World Championship, the Masters Players' Championship 1. 120. Could be followed by Players' Championship 3, the only man. To beat him this year was Johnny Clayton in last Sunday's quarter-final. 59. Has also won both of his Premier League matches and is the only player to do so. It's a darting duel against the man 100. who is the undisputed king of darts, against the man who is literally the king of darts. 80. Just a reminder that the semi-finals for 2019 are played over the format of best of 13 legs. 180. Which means you need seven rather than the usual six that has been required in years gone by. Does that play into the hands of Michael Van Gerwen? Eight needed to win the final. 26. Well, Mervyn King has a chance to steal. That chance has gone. 50. So Van Gerwen to hold his throw. A slow start. Irving King having a bit of a yawn in the background. But Van Gerwen gets the job done. He's just come through. A 140. Strange quarterfinal against Gavin Carling, a, a newcomer this year on the PDC Tour. Van Gerwen averaging only 91.8 in that 134. match. 134. Lackluster display by his standards. I mean, the match that we saw here on stream two featuring Van Gerwen against Dimitri Vandenberg was his best performance of the day. 140. He's had three averages in the low 90s, but between that, 100 and three and a half against Vandenberg and 102 and a half against Jamie Hughes in which he hit the nine darter. 99. So he's turning in by his standards kind of famine or feast 60. Michael Van Gerwen. In a match to match basis. Ninety-four. I'd be hoping to feast on this one-three-five here. Oh, it could be delicious. Wanted that treble for the double fourteen. Ninety-four. Mervyn King will be looking at treble seventeen here. Well, now he might want to get a dart at the bullseye. That's all he's managed to get. Nineteen. He can't afford those kind of slips against this man. Because the green machine will leave you feeling blue. Game shot. Mervyn King does actually have 11 victories over Michael Van Gerwen. The 60. first meeting was almost 13 years ago. King won the first three between them and embarked on a, a long losing streak. 140. Van Gerwen has 27 victories against Mervyn King, including the last six. 139. Last time that Mervyn beat Michael Van Gerwen was that famous Masters tournament back in 2014 when Mervyn really should have picked up his first PDC 60. TV title, but ended up squandering huge leads against James Wade in the final. And... 93. Van Gerwen's, well, really, the match that sparked off Van Gerwen's dominance in darts was a 2012 Grand Prix final when Mervyn again let a lead slip and Michael Van Gerwen picked up his first PDC TV title. And the rest, as they say, is history. Because Mervyn King still hasn't managed to win a 85. televised trophy in the PDC. Whereas MVG 
52. Has now won 47 TV titles. 98. A marginal miss on the bullseye for Mervyn King, but all he's had in the match is a Game couple shot. of darts at Bull. And Van Gerwen has raced into a three-leg lead. Forty-five. Have to give full credit to Mervyn King, the world number eighteen. He's spent two decades at the top of this sport. Ninety-three. And perhaps that Neely Man tag is a bit unfair. Did win a couple of big titles before making the switch to the PDC. Forty-three. World Masters in 04, International Darts League in 05. And he has picked up eight. PDC titles, including one last year on a Pro Tour in Barnsley when he returned to the winner's circle. Does have these runs from time 100. to time. And this afternoon, he's put in a few decent performances, Mervyn King. Of course, he has to get to this stage. But 110 average in his first match, beating Mickey Mantle 138. 101.2 in the last 16 against Andy Bolton. He won that match 6-4. 62. Has had a couple of gruelers including the last one against Steve West. And going, can he get above that? 65. Yeah, Mervyn King surviving match darts in each of the last two legs as he came back to beat his 85. good pal Steve West, 6-5. 65 is the equation in front of the world number one here. Double 10. 45. Van Gerwen couldn't finish. Mervyn can't finish. 96. 5 Can't go inside. Game shot. Finds the corner. Perilously close to the double 20, but Michael Van Gerwen has cruised into a four-leg lead and he's not anywhere near his best yet again, averaging in the low 90s. And some might say they're for 29. the taking today, but nobody has really stepped up to threaten Michael Van Gerwen. 140. He's getting to the point in this match, first to seven, where Mervyn King's probably going to have to break now to get himself 92. in contention. The other semi-final is being contested between Peter Wright and Chris Doby. Sorry, Ian White and Chris Doby. Doby beat Peter Wright here on the Live stream in the quarterfinals, and White leads Derby 2-1. Now we do know 100. that Van Gerwen has met both of those pairing finals in the past, and both of them have served it up to Van Gerwen. I think Derby averaged about 110 despite defeat when they met in 86. Milton Keynes last year. And Ian White has whitewashed Michael Van Gerwen in a Pro Tour final before. 71. Well, you get the sense that MVG starting to get bored. 139. Irving King having a go at the bullseye himself. MVG moving around the board. 134. Well, I said that King had to break in this leg to get himself in contention. He's going to get one dart. Well, I assumed he would get one dart. Sorry, 44. He didn't even manage that. MVG gets one, Game and shot. MVG hits, and it's 5-0, and Mervyn King has cost himself a chance to find a way back into the match. He's muttering away to himself there, Mervyn, and Michael Van Gerwen, I think, finds it rather amusing. 100. Well, you can see the grin has appeared on the face of the green machine. I'm not sure what Mervyn has been muttering. 49. But I don't think it was a joke from his Christmas cracker. 81. Oh, he's giving the eyes now, Michael Van Gogh. What's going on down there? 60. Chris Dobie's back at 2-2 against Ian 45. White. Not happening for Mervyn King, and he's looking like a man who's perhaps given up the race here. 
and going trying to motivate himself. King has only had two darts at ball in this entire contest. 41. Mervyn King has to be said is throwing like a man that's not trying, and I'm not sure Michael Van Gerwen likes it. 30. Maybe it's a master plan from Mervyn because it's dragging Michael Van Gerwen down. 84. 134. Well, I can't believe it. Mervyn King. Mervyn King was going for three bullseyes 48. there. 48. 48. Van Gerwen would have needed one bullseye had he found 70. the treble 20. But Mervyn King, by only scoring 48, might deny himself a dart a double yet again. 78. Finally put a bit of force in a dart and it found the treble 20. Van Gerwen, that's in seven. So double top. 25. And finally Mervyn King gets a shot at the outer ring. 5. Game shot. And finds double three and gets a leg on the board. A baffling semi-final, you... Must be wondering, if you're just tuning in right now, how have these two got here? 180. Well, there's your answer from Michael Van Gerwen, who will be inflating the average that was going into this leg. Just 86. Unheard of for MVG. Fortunately for him, 99. Mervyn Kings was five points fewer. 100. Chris Dobie is now 3-2 up against Ian White in the other last four clash. 171. MVG has had <laughs> visits of 180 and 171 in this leg. Suddenly sparked 60. into life. Double 16 to move within one. 19. 46. Well, last start at the 25 has left Mervyn on a finish. Will he get a go? Will he get a go? No score. He will. 55. But it's not happening for Mervyn King in more ways than one. And Michael Van Gerwen Game is shot. just one leg away from another final. One hundred and eighty. Well, you just watch now, Mervyn King, who has managed to muster up nothing in this 96. match. You just watch him hit a nine data now. Just watch. Just watch. Oh, it was very, very close. Eighty-three. With dart number five, just went the wrong side of the wire. Oh, yeah, yeah. One hundred and seventeen. One hundred. Sixty-four. Both these players have produced much, much better than this today. You can look for the stats at Dart Connect to see that as King looks for treble 18 to give himself another dart at double. Seventy-five. Van Gerwin now having a bit of practice on the balls. Like this is a baffling, baffling semi-final match. Well, Mervyn does get a dart at tops. 23. Van Gerwin left himself 99. He looks for two tops. 44. Well, I've got no idea what's going on. Game in shot. this match now. What's going on is Mervyn King has got a second leg, but Van Gerwen there of 80 left went for the ball. And it is a strange old semi-final in the position that I'm in. I have to call it as I see it. 
59. And I think at times, both players have thrown quite a few silly and strange darts. Van Gerwen seemingly riled by the fact that Mervyn 64. King hasn't perhaps put in maximum effort from the point of being 4-0 down. And that's kind of dragged his 81. concentration levels down, which in turn has dragged his performance levels down to an average of sub-90. 139. Yeah, he did say quite rightly in his interview after the Premier League win against Mensa Sulevich that you don't always have to be at your best to win darts 125. matches. 125. I think we've had a few cases of that today from Michael Van Gogh and we've also seen the other side as well. A brilliant nine dart finish. That fantastic performance against Dimitri Van Den Berg. But what you do have to do is beat what is in front of you and Van Gerwen's managing that very effectively here. 99. Can he turn on a style to finish it off? Another there for double 12. 126. And Mervyn's missed another big number. I'm not quite sure what is going on here. Of course, he doesn't mean to miss the big number. But there's been no real purpose in the performance Game of King. Count. Somehow, he's managed to get another leg on the board. Gerwin can't keep his eyes off Mervyn King here. A penny for the thoughts of Michael Van Gerwin. I think he just wants to win this ugly. 140. An exit stage left. Prepare for his final against either Derby or White. That one swung back the way of White at the moment. 4-3 to the diamond. One hundred and thirty-four. The frustrating thing is that with an average of 88, Michael Van Gerwen's certainly been there for the taking. 41. The other side of that is that perhaps Van Gerwen is playing that poorly because his opponent is not challenging him at all. King needs another 180, you feel, to apply any kind of pressure after three consecutive visits with two trebles 100. for MVG. Two darts. For the match, and Game Van Gerwen eventually match. wraps it up. Far from his best, I think okay. that's fair to say. But once again, Michael Van Gerwen finds himself in the final. He will play the winner of the match going on on stream one between Ian White and Chris Doby. If you switch streams now, you can catch the conclusion of that, and we'll see you again for the final.